Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Marshy and Dicks. I'm not Marshy. And I'm not Dicks. And today we're in... Back on the road again, this time on another UK staycation to Blackpool, where we'll spend two nights at the Boulevard Hotel. So I'm lucky because Marsha's driving up there, so I get to relax. How do you feel about that one, babe? <laughs> yes, so we're on our way to Blackpool. It's seven minutes past four. It should take us three hours to get down there, so we're looking to get there around, well, three roughly. I think it's about three and a half hours. So we're gonna get there for about half seven. But um, we've, had a, we've had a lovely day so far, haven't we? It's been lovely. We're cheating. We're cheating. We had a burger and chips and crispy cream donuts. Yeah. So <laughs> luckily they got a gym in the hotel where we're staying. Really looking forward to this. Stay tuned, guys. We were really surprised to see that Blackpool had kept its heritage. As we drove down the strip, it took us back to when we were kids. And um, I can, it looks like we're in the middle of um, a roller coaster. Interesting, I've never seen something like that before. Yeah, looks good. Oh my gosh, did you see the massive roller coaster? I think it's called the big one. <gasps> <laughs> Crazy. The Boulevard Hotel is situated on Ocean Boulevard and is one of Blackpool's newest hotels. We're here at the Boulevard Hotel. We've just arrived and um, everything is looking really good. It's quite new, it's quite modern. It looks like it's just been built. I don't know when, but so we're going to go into the Boulevard now and see. But first impressions outside, really, really nice. The Boulevard Hotel is a stone's throw away from the pier and the theme park. Due to current COVID-19 regulations, all staff and visitors were permitted to wear masks in public areas. We opted for the deluxe executive park view room and were really impressed with the art deco. From the carefully designed furniture to the lime green cushions and plum chairs, we really felt at home here. room set us back around 100 to 150 pounds per night however the hotel do advise to book directly through them as sometimes they have special deals
Ah, <sighs> so we've just settled in. Um, we just put our bags down, our coats. Just taking a look at the the rooms. It looks really lovely. It's so plush. I really, I'm really taken back by how nice this place looks. It's nice and cool. They've left the um, aircon on. Like, so you can see that there's a bit of consideration when it comes to how the guests feel when they arrive, so which is good. Um, I'm not really a fan of the green, the lime green. It's not really my thing. But considering, I like what they've done decoration-wise. It's really nice, neat, modern. I quite like the green. The green's really nice and vibrant. The thing is, I don't like to stay in a bad hotel. So I'll check out the decor first and the cleansiness and everything and always make sure that we have a great, great room. The only thing that can put me off is the service. I can't tell what the service is until I get here. And, um, you know, when we first came, I must say the um, service was... Mm, okay um, it wasn't like friendly or it just kind of like felt systematic like mm. oh you've got your room okay you're in this room okay there you go have a nice day it wasn't like warm and friendly and I kind of got that with um, the people that I spoke to on the phone as well wow. um, and also in the reception so the the hotel is beautiful it's it's another stunner it's really new and it's really fresh and it's got some really nice fragrances in the room that's what i love uh, but yeah i love the green i'm sorry i like it beach closes at a certain time you'll find that the shops close at a certain time as well so it was quite difficult to find something to eat around that area however walking further down into town we were able to find more shops that were open <gasps> good morning oh my gosh we had such a lovely night this hotel is absolutely amazing my only pet peeve is the beds are really really hard um it, it all depends on what you like if you like a firm bed then you'll love it i like um a little bit of a softer touch but i mean all in all I had a really nice sleep the curtains they are so good it makes you feel like you're in pitch black even in the morning um, and thank God we've woken up this morning and even though the weather forecast said rain, 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 it is absolutely beautiful. Like there's blue skies, there's sunshine and you know what, I'm going to go and throw on my, have a shower, throw my clothes on and we're going to get out there and see what we can do today. But in, in respect of the room, beautiful room, lovely space um, and when you look outside, oh my gosh, look. The roller coasters are on you've got lovely blue sky and i think we've got this until about three o'clock today and the funny thing about this is when we saw where how close we were to the um, roller coasters we thought that we were going to hear the noise but you can't hear anything silent all in all it's a really good room and um you know we're, we're enjoying ourselves day one Woo. we'll see what it has too Hold. It does, isn't it? Hi. Okay. I've got my mobile phone. <laughs> well, yeah, You're on YouTube kitchen. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Morning. The dreaded mask. We didn't have to wear these in the dining area. However, we did wear them around the breakfast buffet. That didn't stop us enjoying the beautifully, elegantly decorated dining room. I absolutely love the seating, okay? the actual seats. They're really stylish and quite comfortable i must say i'm really enjoying that i like the look the feel nice little style there um the, the waitress is very friendly very nice um so if you look at my plate i've got um, some beans these are hash browns i've got some mushrooms here bacon and two eggs i've also given you some pots of 
pineapple, bit of tangerine here. Um, because we're on our holiday, I'm gonna have a muffin. So hopefully I'll train it off. But yeah, nice, good start. Um, feeling quite enthusiastic. So here we have the lovely Ellie. She's here, she's serving breakfast and you know, we, we're really loving our breakfast. And um, do you want to say a little bit for the camera? Hello, and I'm glad you're enjoying your time here at Blackpool. Hey. <laughs> Brilliant. She has been brilliant. So, shout out to Ellie right now. Thank you. <laughs> This is where we stayed. We stayed at the Boulevard Hotel in Blackpool. It's a lovely hotel, as we said, it's lovely. We are just um, getting used to wearing the mask and I absolutely hate the mask, absolutely hate the mask, but we've got to wear it in public areas. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna literally go out into the park. We've bought evening tickets, evening tickets for six o'clock six till ten so apparently they do like a VIP access into the um, park but that's for the morning only so we're gonna walk around to the main entrance um, but the hotel lobby the hotel surroundings are really really great and this is a place that you want to come to if you're staying in Blackpool unfortunately for me the service is not what I would really require um, I like things done if they say they're gonna do something do it so we asked them to do our room while we went to the gym we went to the gym and we came back it weren't done so all morning we've been waiting for our room to be sort of cleaned and for housekeeping to come and nothing so I'm really sorry we're gonna have to mark you down on the service and I don't know what it is oh, oh my gosh they're screaming on that roller coaster I don't know what it is but I think because everyone's got masks on we can't actually see facial expressions so we're, all we can see is eyes and I think sometimes it may come across that they're being rude um, because I kind of feel like that a little bit but I don't know I just want to big up Ellie at breakfast today she was on form she helped us she went the extra mile so if all the staff could be like Ellie at the Boulevard Hotel in Blackpool it would be perfect that told him Marshy and we're off to Pleasure Beach. Pleasure Beach Blackpool, home to the legendary and iconic Big One roller coaster. This park has something for everybody, from the Big Dipper to the Infusion, that you will not be disappointed. Okay, so we're going on the Infusion, and um, we've been told that we need to wear a mask. Like, I hate this, it's doing my head in, I can't scream. The rides here are not for the faint-hearted, but they are perfect for those thrill-seekers looking for that little bit extra. Whoa, that was crazy! Even though the weather took a turn for the worst, we were still able to enjoy ourselves. Because of wind conditions, the big one was closed, so unfortunately, we'd have to ride that the next time we go. And there will be a next time. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, you're crazy, man, are you mad? No, it's not do it again. No! <laughs> oh my days! No, I wanna go! <laughs> oh my god!
opted for the late night tickets. This meant the price was cheaper and the park wasn't as busy as it would have been during the day. Entry is from 6 p.m. All right, so we just got our breakfast. Had a nice breakfast, had quite a lot. I'm quite full now. So um, we're supposed to check out at 11 o'clock. We're just about getting our stuff ready. It's like pff, five past 11. And yeah, we've had, I've had a great time here, man. It's been really nice, really relaxing in this hotel. We've had lots to do in the day, as you would have seen. We're gonna now leave the hotel and we're gonna do some go-karting now. So that should be really good, really exciting. I'm, I'm gonna whoop his butt! Nah, do you know what? Marsha's she's better driver than me, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> anyway, it's been fun here. I've loved it, loved the hotel. You know, I'll definitely come back. Very nice. Anyway. See us on the track. We're just leaving the uh, Boulevard Hotel. It's our last day today. And as you can see from the bags under my eyes, like I've slept, but I've had so much fun. So I've had like really great times in the theme park yesterday. Pleasure Beach was sick. So we've left now and we just spoke to um, Adam, the reception manager. He is so lovely. He really took some time out and he brought us up to one of the suites um, that were available. So we stayed in the deluxe room, but we also went and had a look at the suite as well, which is where we will be staying next. Thank you, Adam, for you know just adding that little touch to our stay. And we're leaving now, so we're gonna drive home. We're not actually driving home. We're gonna go and play some um, play some go-karts. We're gonna do some go-karting. So see you there. On our way to go-karting, we thought we'd take a quick detour to the South Pier. Who's up for a bit of go-karting? I know we are. Karting 2000 Ridgeway, just on the Blackpool Strip. And here we have Dave, Diggs and Marshy. Diggs, I think you're taking it a bit too far now, don't you? So who won? Let's see. You, that was so It good. was fun, innit? I've never done that before. It's so fun, innit? That was so exhilarating. Oh my gosh, I think I won. Yeah. I won. I'm so sick. I was <laughs> swimming. And do you see how many times he crashed? <laughs> so we've just got our results. And um, yeah, we saw Marsha, she passed the finish line alright. She did well, didn't you, babes? Yeah, you did well. But um, 
on paper, our results show that I came first, so <laughs> So that's it. Another great staycation. Blackpool will be back. Oh, 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 oh